Clear! I never like to lose a patient, but Dr. RV is here to tell you how to sustain the lifeblood of your RV components. Electricity. So, RV electricity and what you need to do if it catches a cold. Well, the first thing we need to do is explain the differences between electricity and an RV. There are two sides to electricity in an RV. There's the 120 side, which handles things like your AC, your microwave, some of your bigger appliances. Then you have a 12 volt side. Your 12 volt side handles things like your lights and panels and other small components that run off of actual battery power. So let's start with the 120 side. The 120 side goes bad. That's going to be something like your AC or your microwave. If it's one component that goes bad, the first place you want to go is the breaker box. Now I can't tell you where your breaker box is because there's so many different places in an RV that they may be. You may want to check your owner's manual for that, find out where it is, go and check uh, if any of the breakers are tripped that equal the component that you're having trouble with. Vice versa, if it's 12 volt, there's also a right side or a fuse side that is a bunch of fuses that runs any of the lights or small components. Check any of those if you're losing power in those. Now, you ask the doctor, I'm out of power completely. I don't have AC, nothing's on. Well, how do you tell? A good indicator is the microwave to see if you've got any power at all coming in. If the microwave is off, you're not getting any power. If it's blinking and the lights are on, you've got power, you just may have an AC problem or another component problem. So, if you don't have any power, first place you want to go if you're staying at a park is the park side. So you want to go where you plug in to your 30 or 50 amp and check and see if there are breakers on there and maybe a, a, a breaker needs to be reset. Second place you go if you're running on generator is the generator itself. The generator has its own breakers that do run these components within the RV. So let's go take a look at where these might be. Okay so this is a diesel generator similar to the unit we were just in. As you can see, the breaker is right here. It's at the top, there's one breaker. All you do is if it's not set, push that back up. That'll give you the power you need back in the coach. Let's head over to a Class A gas. This is a Class A gas unit. Usually comes with a 5500, maybe a 4500, maybe a little larger generator size. What this is, is a, a plate on the front. You just pull it back, lift up, take it off. And the breaker that we were talking about is going to be, going to be one of two breakers, which are over here. One on the top, one on the bottom. Just make sure if those are tripped, you set those back. That'll take care of the component that's out inside. Let's move over to a smaller Class C. This is a Class C gas unit. Your generator is going to be on the driver's side. Come to the door where it is. Unlatch the generator door on top. It's usually going to be a 4,000 watt generator on these. Pull up and down. And then what you want to do is find the breaker. It's going to be way down in here behind the start switch. And it's a little hard to find but when you do if it's been tripped you just trip it right back that resets it you got power inside and you're good to go okay so we've tackled the bigger power problems now let's move on to smaller power problems 12 volt electricity 12 volt runs things like your lights components small components and panels things like that so if one component or one item goes out that's related to the 12 volt go back to your breaker box and check your fuses on the right side most likely you may have a fuse or two out and that's causing the issue. But Dr. RV, I don't have any lights inside the RV. That's a symptom of a much larger problem that's related to this poor fellow right here, the converter or inverter. This happens to be a converter. What this does, it converts power, it converts 120 power to 12 volt power. Basically it's a really fancy battery charger, but essentially it keeps your battery charged that all run on your 12 volt components. So, what is an inverter? Just the opposite. It turns 12 volt electricity into 120, a little less, but it, it basically changes it to bigger. There are systems that just have a converter, and there are systems that have a large inverter that does both the converter and the inverter job. But we won't get too far into that. What I do want to talk about is how to diagnose it and maybe fix it. So, you're in the middle of the desert, it's hot, you need AC, your AC is not working. Well, we just went over that that's related to 120, right? The problem is, your AC is run by an AC panel, which is run by 12 volt. Your converter goes out, your panel doesn't work, you can no longer turn your ACs on, and it's hot outside. What do I do, Dr. RV? I can't get it repaired, it's a Sunday. No problem, I'm here with a remedy. 
If you already have a battery charger with you, excellent. That means you're well prepared. If not, go to your local store, pick up a regular battery charger that you'd use to charge your car batteries, and you want to either plug that into the RV if you're on generator, or plug it into the outside uh, where you have shore power. Either way, you want to connect those directly to the house batteries. Once you do that, that will essentially keep your batteries charged, allowing your lights and components to work again until you can get a more permanent fix, which is to replace or repair an inverter or a converter. Well, that's your lesson today in electricity and an RV. I hope it helps, and thanks for joining us. As shocking as this episode was today, I hope we provided you with the prescription you need for your RV ailments. Remember, if you like what you saw, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and let us know what the doctor can do for you.